The VLOOKUP formula is a good way to find data out of a data set for items that are mixed up. Um, a good example would be, in this case, we have a data set showing the owners of vehicles, the number of vehicles they own, the color of the vehicle, the type of vehicle, and what state it's in. And say we have a different spreadsheet or a different data set that has names of the owner, and we want to find out what kind of items each owner has. The VLOOKUP is a very good formula to use to find this information and the best way to do this would be to type in the equal symbol, start typing VLOOKUP and after the V and the L it will auto populate. Hit tab and you'll notice it has a lookup value, a table array, column index number, and range lookup. And basically what this is asking is what is the value you want to look up in the other data set. We want to look up cell F16, put a comma, and then you're going to select the actual data, data set that you're wanting to find this in. Now it's important to have the first column of your data set be the look, looked up value of that data set. And what I mean by that is these are the names of the owners. You want to make sure the owner's names are in the first column. If it's in column E, and state is in column A, it will not work. So if we select this data set and press comma, it's going to ask you for column index number. And what that is saying is if it finds the name Vicky in column A, which data item do you want it to place in this cell? Do you want it to place state? Do you want to place quantity? Uh, the color of the vehicle, the type of vehicle, and you're going to count over from the first column starting with A. So the second column will give you the type of vehicle. We'll press false. And it's going to give you that answer. And you can drag this formula down and it will give you this answer for each one of the owners of the vehicles. Now if we drag this crossed, you'll notice that it's going to keep following each one of the items. And you can continue to drag it down and it's going to replace the entire data set. Some of the data is incorrect. Uh, as you can see, Bill should be Tennessee here. Um, the best way to fix this is just to figure out where it went wrong in the formula and to be able to fix it. So if we go to equals V lookup, go over to Bill, select this, and we're going to choose the fifth column. and you'll notice that it populates Tennessee.